What's going on everybody? It's your boy Spencer doing another step-by-step -step combo tutorial. This time it's with Tenyi Sword Soul. Uh, I think this is the much better version of um, Sword Soul. I know the virtual world archetype is pretty popular, but I do like this one just a bit better. Um, but in any case, this is from the CCS final. I found this on DV Grinders video. Like I find a bunch of these combos that I do for step-by-step -step combos. Um, this was the finals and they were playing against Invoked, you know, Dogmatic, uh, Fusion Destiny, all that kind of junk. Uh, so I'll go ahead and explain exactly what they did, and I'll just slow it down much more. Because if you don't know what Tenyi cards, if you don't know what Sword Soul cards do, you'd probably be pretty confused. And that's why I make these videos. All right, so we'll go ahead and activate um, Adhara in the hand. So this card says if you control no effect monsters, basically all the Tenyi cards have that effect, right? If you control no effect monsters, you can freely special summon them from the hand. Adhara have a shoot at all of those. So we'll go ahead and activate the effect of um, Adhara. Then we can um, go ahead and link summon Monk of the Tenyi is actually just a normal link monster, which is pretty interesting. Meaning that um, we can activate the effect of Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. Send a war monster from your deck to the graveyard. Then if you control a face-up non-effect monster, you can add from your deck to your hand a Tenyi monster with a different name from the one that you Foolish Burialed. Since we control a face-up non-effect monster, we can go ahead and Foolish Burial the Ashina and add to our hand another copy um, of the uh, Adhara. We don't need this card, but it's always good to get extra cards, you know, from your deck. Since we control no fa you know, face-up effect monsters, we can activate the effect of Ashuda. The Ashuda is pretty cool there. Um, then we can activate the effect of the Ashina from uh, the graveyard. So if we control a face-up non-effect monster, which of course we do right now, we basically get to just freely special summon a Tengi monster from the deck, which is pretty nice. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except war monsters. Not an issue. Tenyi and Sword Soul are just all war monsters. So from the deck, we can activate, or we can special summon a copy of Adhara. So we've used all three copies of Adhara, right? Uh, and cool enough, Adhara is a tuner, <laughs> which is pretty neat. We can turn those and synchro into summon into a Baxi, a Brightness of the Yang Zine. So this card is a cool going second, because when this card is synchro, you can target cards up to the field, up to the number of different original attributes of war monsters used for the synchro material. So that'd be two. Um... But that's not the effect we need to use right now. You can actually get it. It's actually good going first and second. We can activate the effect of the Adhara to add back the, um, you know, the Ashina. That's what Adhara does. It's a secondary effect. If you control a face and not effect monster, you can add one of your banished war monsters back to your hand. Then we can use the effect of the Baxia. This is the card. This is the effect that we really need to use. You can target a card you control and a level four lower monster in your graveyard. Destroy that card on the field. And if you do, special summon the other monster. Since we're not using any more effects of the 10 Yees, we can go ahead and do that, right? So we can, um, you know, destroy the monk, add in special summon back the Adhara. It's a tuner, <laughs> like I said last time. So we can use that to synchro summon once again. And this time we're going to go into Chow Fang. So if you guys don't know what this card does, while this synchro summon card is on the field, your opponent cannot activate effects of monsters with the same original attributes as the Yang Zing monster used for the synchro summon of this card. So the Yang Zi monster that we used was a light, so your opponent can activate light monsters. Neato. And then when this card, when this synchro summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you get to add a tuner from your hand. I'm pretty sure like 90% of the time, from what I've seen, you always just add a hand trap, like, you know, Ash Blossom, which is crazy, which is how much this, you know, this does. And even further beyond, once per turn, when a monster your uh, opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one worm monster from your deck in defense position whose original attribute matches the original attribute of those destroyed monsters on they had on the field, which may not come up every time, but still, that's kind of insane. Then we can go ahead and normal summon. We haven't done that yet. It, um, this is incredible. Ecclesia the Virtuous. Basically, just get to, you know, send it to the graveyard. Special summon a Sword Soul from the deck. That's kind of all it does. Or a Fallen of Albaz, but no one's ever going to use that effect, right? Because we're going to be able to special summon a Mo Yi from the deck. When this card is normal or special summon, you get to reveal a Sword Soul or a War Monster. All the Tenyis, of course, are War Monsters. And then special summon a token. that uh, A Synchro token, actually, which is kind of cool. <laughs> All right, then we can convert those two into a Grandmaster, of course. If you guys don't know what this card does, it lets when Synchro Summon, you get to add a Sword Soul card from deck to hand, and it's also a Disruption. You get to uh, banish, it's a quick play, you get to banish a Sword Soul or a War Monster from your hand or graveyard, then target another effect monster on the field, negate its effect. So it's on field negation, plus the search. Um, and then when Mo sent to the graveyard, it lets you draw a card, but I'm like, you know, whatever. Because if you draw into something cool, it makes it seem like the combo is way better than it is, even though the combo is still good. So let's just say what you get a blank card. Plus, you only started with three here. 
Then we can activate, um, you know, Sword Soul Emergence. Basically, just lets you add a Sword Soul monster from deck to hand. Nothing too crazy, right? <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, but if you control a Synchro Monster, you can add a War Monster instead. So you don't have to add a Sword Soul card. And that is very, very, very important. Because there's an insane War Monster, like, that really hasn't had a home just quite yet. And that's Protoss. We control Synchro Monsters, obviously. Um, so <laughs> this card is going to get banned eventually. It's basically just VFD it's basically bft yeah i don't know i don't know how else to put it but um cannot be normal summoner set must be special summon from your hand by banishing three monsters with different attributes i'm pretty sure you know all the attendees have different attributes plus you have the sword soul stuff in your graveyard too so you're never going to be hurting for that um requirement um cannot be destroyed by card effects because of course but the important effect is you can declare one monster attribute on the field. Destroy all monsters on the field with that attribute. Also, until the end of the next turn, neither player can special summon monsters with that attribute. As you can imagine, that is quite, quite good. Especially when you're playing, you know, um, Invoked. Which is what they were doing. And then you can go ahead and declare Dark. Which is going to stop so many archetypes. It can't be destroyed by card effects, so it doesn't destroy itself. And, uh, yeah. So, that that is the combo. Um... Hopefully it helped you learn like a lot of the more obscure ones. Like I, I'm pretty sure most people know what Grandmaster does, but if you don't know what the Tenyi stuff did, um, that was pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, uh, that that's gonna do it for today's video. Other than that, it's gonna, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, <laughs> I was over the place there.